Sounds like a long time. I'm gonna to try to keep these daily webinars short and digestible. I'm gonna be sending out some handouts to go along with them. So I want you to definitely look those over and work through them on your own pace because I think it's really helpful and it's really great to do that alongside of this webinar series so you can get the most out of it. So a little bit about me. I'm Natasha, I own Fit Mama Santa Barbara. I work with women of all ages when it comes to health and fitness. I primarily focus on women during pregnancy and postpartum, and I help people just feel better in their bodies. So whether that be through gaining strength, through fitting into their clothes again, through being able to chase after their kids, that is the ultimate goal. So I've been working with women both online and in person over the last seven years. And the reason why I created this webinar series is that there are so many things that keep coming up over and over with all my different clients, right? So I'm always addressing the same kind of concerns, which really helped me create a framework to help them get to where they want to be. So this is what we are covering in the next five days. So we're talking about the different aspects of the framework that I use with my clients and how that helps them create healthy habits and change up the routine so that they can have sustainable change long-term in their life, right? So nobody wants crash diets or crazy workout programs or all these things that you really just can't continue. And even as a trainer, I love working with people. I love to see people one-on-one, -on -one, but I don't want them to depend on me. So I wanna be able to teach them all these things so that when I'm not around, they will continue to live their life in the same manner, right? So if you have a trainer, a nutritionist, and all these people telling you what to do all the time, but you're not really understanding the why behind it, you're not gonna be able to continue that on your own, right? So we're gonna to focus today on how to get started with a healthy lifestyle or how to recommit yourself after hitting a plateau. So basically, if you've hit a plateau or you're just starting out, there's something that's holding you back from making progress. So I like to address the five M's in my framework. So what those are, we have mindset, motivation and consistency, metabolism, movement, and more good food. Now I put more good food in there because I find most people are actually not eating enough. And so that's really the big part of it is educating people on what are good foods and how to change things up so that you can actually eat more and feel satisfied and still reach your goals. So first things first, when it comes to mindset, like what is that? You probably hear that word all the time right now on Instagram and everywhere else. And look, what is mindset and why is that important? Now I'll tell you after working, I've been in the fitness industry for over 15 years now. I know almost from when I meet people, if they're going to get success with their program or not. And it all has to do with mindset. So if people are coming in with the mindset of, you know, I'm not really sure why I'm here. I don't know why I'm doing this. I want to just look better and I want it to happen fast. Those are the kind of clients where you realize that unless they're ready to change their mindset on why they're doing this, they're not really going to see the results that they want, right? So you're not going to stick to something if you don't have a vision and you don't have some idea of where you want to be. So for example, um, a lot of people would be like, well, I just want to like feel better. And like, that's great. That's a fantastic thing. Everybody wants to feel better, but like how, how are we going to do that? Right? Um, so I like to use the analogy of a plane. So you wouldn't get in a plane and take off without having a flight plan or knowing where you're going or knowing how you're going to get there. Right? All these things are really important. And it's important to have the tools and the stuff that you need along the way so that you can actually make it happen. Um, so this is why I put together the goal setting worksheet for you guys. So you'll see, um, I sent this out in the email, right? And this is something that you can quickly work through. It'll take you five minutes. But we look at things, and these are questions that I typically ask a lot of my clients. So like, what are your goals? And when I ask people what their goals, it's not like, yeah, like I said, I want to feel better, but like, where do you see yourself in six months? Where do you see yourself in a year? Um, another good question that I put on here that is something to think about is if I could wave a magic wand and fix one thing, what would it be? So for example, if you asked me two years ago what it would be, it would absolutely have been, I want you to fix my back pain so I can get out of bed every day and my back does not hurt. Okay, that at that point in my life was such an important goal because it was affecting every part of who I was, right? 
Um, so once again, something that you want to think about. And I want you to just work through these questions and just think about what your goals are, right? And a lot of times when you actually put your mind behind it, you realize like, yes, like, okay, I want to lose weight. Every, most people that come to me are like, yeah, that's part of it. I do want to lose weight, but like, what is the why behind that? Right? So like, why do you want to lose weight? Um, the next thing that, uh, we're going to talk about in, uh, the five M's is motivation and consistency. And oh my gosh, this is like the biggest pillar of all my programs, because especially with my online clients, those programs are set up to keep you consistent. That is my number one goal with any of them. I don't care if you are not making strength gains or, you know, I hope you are, but not hitting all the other things that are on your list. If you are able to stay consistent with for, to a program for 60 days, for 90 days, that's going to get you really far because that means that you have the ability to keep going right? Um, when it comes to motivation, it's super hard to stay motivated. It's hard to do something that you particularly don't really want to do every day. So I don't know too many people that are like, yes, I love to work out and eat healthy every day. Like this is awesome. Like hopefully eventually you get there, but not when you start out, right? Um, so what are some ways to stay motivated? You want to find an accountability buddy. You want to hire a coach. You want to follow a program, but uh, caveat on this, I am not a fan of the programs that you just download off the internet and then try to follow them because nobody sticks with those, okay? I know like most people usually stick with it for about a week and then they're done with that, right? So program is has to be a little bit more interactive. Um, and yeah, just really thinking about what you want to focus on. So big question is what do you do first? Do you focus on diet or exercise or do you just go all in and do both? And this is a big problem with a lot of people because most people want to take the all or nothing approach. And for some people, like a very small amount of people that might work, but for most people and the way that I usually uh, work with my clients either online or in person is we do one thing at a time. So that may be you are focusing on the exercise. So I'll tell people, okay, you're going to start with exercise and I want you to focus on making it to the gym four days a week, every single week, okay? And when that starts to get easier, it might take a month, it might take two months, that's when we start to layer in the nutrition. And once again, I'm not like throwing everything at someone and being like, okay, these are all the things you need to change tomorrow, but I'm layering one thing in at a time. So on the app, I like to set little reminders for people and I'll say like, okay, this week, I want you to focus on drinking enough water every day. And that's all you're focusing on when it comes to nutrition. And then the next week it's, okay, we're gonna focus on eating enough protein. And the next week it may be that we're cutting back on sugar. So you'll see as you work through your program, all of a sudden these things become easier and easier, right? And then you're not thinking about it so much. It's not this constant grind of, you know, putting all this mental energy towards food and exercise and trying to do all the right things, right? Because we all know that after a few weeks of that, you're gonna burn out. Um, so yeah, moral of the story, focus on one habit at a time. Um, another thing that I think is important to mention is being aware of where you are in your life. So I know a lot of my clients either, you know, just went back to work or maybe they just had a baby or even for myself, like I'm in a very busy season of life right now and I need to be realistic about my expectations when it comes to fitness and um, everything else, right? So for me, like I knew this. So six months ago, I sat down and I was like, okay, I know the next six months are gonna be crazy busy. We had a lot of stuff going on with the kids. We were moving. I was changing up my business. There's just a lot of stuff. So I was very realistic and I'm like, okay, I'm in a maintenance mode. So my goal is to make it to the gym four days a week. I'm going to try to get out for some mindful movement. So whether that be walking or, you know, going out somewhere with my daughter or whatever, doing some sort of mindful movement every day, but I'm not killing it. Okay. I'm not like trying to do all the things when I know I have all this other stuff that needs to get done. Um, and that's going to help you not only protect your adrenals and your stress level, but also, also help you maintain, like I said, we're looking, looking at living the fit life. So that means like forever. Okay. Like not just for now. Um, okay. 
So moving on, talking about metabolism. This is our next M. Uh, so big thing, when what you're doing is no longer working, where do you go from there? So common with people where you know, we've all, our bodies have a history. So in, I have no idea when people come to me what that even looks like before we dive in on it. So it may be that they went through patterns of yo-yo dieting. It may be that they were cardio junkies and doing all, all the cardio and are not really used to strength training. And these are all things that can really impact your progress present day, right? So another thing that's really um, key here, and I find this comes up a lot with my clients, especially my busy working moms, is how stress is affecting your fat loss. And so this is all, all very important topics. I find the topics of hormone and sp hormones and fat loss and cortisol and all those things um, are is super relevant and super important. So that's why I'm gonna dedicate an entire day to this. So we're gonna talk about this in day three. So definitely tune in on day three if this is something that you're dealing with and something that you want to make progress with, right? Um, all right. Next M is movement. So I kind of alluded to this, but the kind of movement that you're doing is super important. So if you're going to the gym five days a week and doing high intensity training, your body probably isn't getting enough time to recover, right? So we want to think about what that looks like. So for me, for example, like I said, busy season right now. So I'm focusing on, I have two days a week of strength training. I go to Pilates one day a week. I go out for a long walk or a hike one day. And maybe if I didn't have a particularly stressful week or I'm feeling pretty good, I'll work in a high intensity intensity workout on the weekend. But none of those things are like extremely taxing, right? Like I feel like that's all like a very sustainable um, plan. And having a plan is important. So this is the difference between doing exercise, which is like doing random workouts that you find on the internet or maybe doing random Peloton workouts or whatever, or following a training plan. So are you exercising or are you training? Because there's a very big difference there. If you're exercising, that's great. You're moving your body, that's awesome, but that's not really gonna help you reach your goals, right? If you're training, you're following a plan that has built-in recovery days, that has built-in restorative days. These are all things that are really gonna help you move forward in your um, plan and progress in your routine. Um, another thing that I think is super key, and I tell my clients this all the time, rest is not a reward, okay? So you don't earn rest. Your body needs rest, and it's okay to take rest days. Like, it's important that those are strategically worked into your plan so that your body can recover. There's a, a lot to say about recovery when it comes to building muscle and just feeling good, and like I said, being consistent. All right, last things here. Uh, talking about more good food. Now, this is something that I am bringing my husband in on because if anyone follows us on Instagram, you know that he is the cook in our house and I'm gonna tell you why. So I grew up in Canada and not saying that we ate terrible because my mom would make a lot of food at home and we, we ate really well, but I had no idea what healthy food was, right? Um, to me, like I worked at a restaurant, so I would have a baked potato and broccoli for dinner with nothing on it, no butter, no nothing. And that was healthy to me because it was really low in calories and fat. Now I've learned, especially since moving to California and especially since getting married, the importance of food quality, right? So it's not about eating less. It's actually about eating more good food. So, so we eat a lot of food. And when I say that, like I'm not exaggerating, like I eat a ton of food, but I eat a lot of really great food. So stuff that is high quality, stuff that is fueling my body, stuff that is not processed and not full of sugar so that it's not having an inflammatory effect on my bones and muscles and joints and all of that, right? Um, and I think this is definitely something that is learned. Cause like I said, I had no idea what good food was. I was like, meh, vegetables, fruit, whatever. Like, that's fine. And it wasn't, and even like meat, I would just go to the store and like buy meat because that's what you do. And so really learning how to make good food choices at the grocery store and learning how to navigate the grocery store, I think is a huge um, asset for people. So that's what Thomas is gonna be talking about. He's gonna be talking about how he chooses his meats, how to prioritize when it comes to budget, right? So a lot of people are shopping on a budget and sometimes that stuff can get really expensive. So what is important for us to prioritize and how can we make that happen? 
Um, another thing is looking at how to read your labels. So there's so many hidden things on food labels that blow my mind and you just, you wouldn't know unless it's something that you were taught to look for. You really, it's not something that's important. It may say like natural or organic or whatever, but that doesn't mean necessarily that it's healthy. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be diving more into that tomorrow. I think it's going to be, like I said, a super interesting chat and something that I look forward to talking about. So that sums it up. We got our five M's, all the things that we want to focus on when it comes to creating a new routine or starting a new routine. Um, just to throw that out there, I am opening up spots for my one-on-one -on -one training program online. That's going to be opening up over Thanksgiving. So if you're interested in that, definitely stay tuned. I'll be sending out a couple emails with some more information. It's going to be the best price of the year. And this is my programs where I really get to dive deep with my clients and help them reach their goals. This isn't like a, okay, in 30 days, you're going to lose weight. This is like, what kind of progress can we make long term? And how can we help you get there so that you're capable to then continue to do that on your own? So I love what I do and it's, I'm so excited that I was able to open up a few